In this video, I will show you how to install this tiny RCM X86 chip for the unpatched Arista. Stay tuned! For this section, you need to have an RCM jig and a USB Type-C cable. Download the latest Tegra RCM GUI from the GitHub link. You can choose between the installer or the portable version. The RCM X86 chip is only compatible with an unpatched Arista. Please do this step to determine if we can install this kit to our console. Turn off the console. Get an RCM jig and slide it to the right Joy-Con rail. And then press and hold the volume up button followed by pressing the power button. This action will make the console enters the RCM mode. Now get a USB Type-C cable and connect your console to a Windows PC. Run the Tegra RCM GUI and it will ask you to install the APX driver if you don't have it yet. Press yes to continue. Press next, then click finish. And now you can see the RCM status reads OK. Select Hecate and double click it to send the payload to the console. You can see the check mark on the RCM status. If you see the text version of Hecate on the screen, your console is an unpatched Arista and compatible with the RCM X86 chip. But if you see nothing on the screen, your console is patched and you cannot continue with this guide. The only solution for a patched console is to use a mod chip like the HW5. Now turn it off and disassemble the console. Please follow this guide to disassemble the console. You need a Triwing 00 and a Philips 00 screwdriver. Disconnect the battery. Get the RCM X86 chip, stick a double-sided tape to its back, and place it like this. Get the detailed schematics from the link in the description and begin soldering the wires. I use the 36 gauge UL10064 wires as usual. Don't forget to use a good flux and a tweezer too. By the way, I didn't flash or program the chip because it is pre-flashed from the factory. And the setup I used is without the Auto RCM feature. So your console can boot to the OFW quickly and avoid damaging your console if not used for a long time.
now let's test the chip. Connect the battery. Press and hold the volume up button, then press the power button. When you install the chip correctly, you will see some menus on the screen. You can explore and experiment with what each menu does, but I think it is not essential. Let's turn it off. Now let's apply a new thermal paste, cover the chip with a sheet of captain tape, and reassemble the console. Get your CFW bootpack or simply download my headspec and put it on the desktop. Extract the headspec to the micro SD card. Insert the SD card to the console. Press and hold the volume up button, then press the power button. and it will boot to Hecate. You can ignore the date and time settings and try to launch the SysMMC to test it. Get into the album and you will see the homebrew menu. To boot to the OFW, turn off the console, and turn it on again. And that is how we install the RCM X86 chip to the unpatched Arista. Thanks for watching this video.